Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And um, I finally got a chance to play with some of uh, the new makeup, and so that's what I've been doing. And I think I used just about everything because I've just been playing. And this is a playing video. My skin is all over the place. It decided to go its own ways. But uh, the eyeshadow, like I said, I've been playing with today, and I. I think it kind of worked. So um, I started off with the MAC. Uh, this is the Studio Radiance. And then as far as what else I used, I used uh, the Soul, which is a sister company to ColourPop. You can get it on the same website. I did their bronzer and medium here. And then as far as what I did for the rest of the face look, um, to go ahead and use the Tarte. This is the Delight blush. So that's what I have on. And then on this side where I did the green look or the green and gold look, I went ahead and put this on, which is Wildflower Honey by uh, Soul. Again, a sister company to ColourPop. You can get it on the same website. And then on the other side where I did the blue look, I went ahead and used Shell Yeah and um, went ahead and used this as more of a highlighter. I don't know if you can see there, but anyway, that's what I used as my highlighter over there. And then what I've been playing with, oh, well, hold on. Uh, so I also used the Lavender uh, Glowing Lip by ColourPop as well, as far as my lip color goes. And I used the Make Me Brow and Dark Brown. Um, by Essence. And then the um, palette that I've been playing with is the Holiday Palette by the, um, well, it's a Muppets palette by ColourPop. And so I didn't really get a chance to play with this. And I thought, well, I saw um, Steph's stash um, and the looks that she did. And I thought they turned out really well. Um, I didn't have any problem doing a pink look with this palette or going ahead doing an orangey, yeah, an orangey corally look with this palette. So the, the two rows on the outside weren't giving me any problem at all. But uh, the greens and the blues, I was kind of, um, I didn't really know what to do with them. So what I decided to do was go ahead and use gold as my base color here in both of my looks. And so uh, with the green look, and this is how it turned out. Uh, again, I put the gold on the lid. I went ahead and put this light green on the inner corner um, on the brow bone, This uh, the darker green on... Um, the outside of the brow bone. I put some of the green glitter over the darker green. And then I put some of this duochrome, which is really pretty. It has a gold shift to it, a golden green shift mainly. And then I put that right underneath the brow. Put a little bit of the lighter gold underneath the brow as well. And use a little bit of the red under the eye um, with some of the orange to go ahead and get this look. And then with the other eye, which is the blue eye, let's see if I can get that. Okay, again, I use gold as my base color. And that's how that one came out. And um, I went ahead and used the blue all over the lid. And then uh, the gold on the inner corner, I went ahead and put this blue as a topper over uh, the other blue. Um, I did go ahead and use the red underneath the eye as far as an eyeliner goes. And I used some of this red on the brow. And um, yeah, I think it, it's actually a really fun palette. It just, it stretches you because you can't use your regular you have to, and if it hadn't been for Steph's video, I wouldn't have thought to have tried it with the gold as um, as the main, you know, the main color. And um, it just, it's a fun palette, but it stretches you. It makes you think it makes you use different combinations than what you 
would normally gravitate toward. And but at the same time, it allows you to do, you know, the peachy, um, orange, bronzy look and the pink look. So you get the standard looks in there with some colors that you can play with. And this multi-chrome is really fun. Um, yeah, I thought that uh, this was really fun too. And this looks beautiful on top of this blue. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of liking this palette even more at this point because I think that it actually has some versatility to it that I didn't think it had. So um, yeah, that's the way that this turned out. And so these are the looks. And um, again, the face is all over the place, broken out and all sorts of stuff. Um, but as far as playing with that palette, I thought it was really fun. And thank you, Steph, very much for um, giving me some ideas. So have a good day. Bye.